The Eye of Horus, the true meaning of an ancient powerful symbol. This is of ancient Egypt, of course. This is by Steve McCallmy, Collect a Spark, from Ancient Origins. The Eye of Horus is one of the best known symbols of ancient Egypt, known also as the Wadjet, W A D J E T. This magical symbol is believed to provide protection, health, and rejuvenation. Due to its powerful protective powers, the Eye of Horus was properly, uh, popularly used uh, by the ancient Egyptians, both the living and the dead, as amulets. Even today, the Eye of Horus continues to be used as a symbol of protection. The dramatic origin, the story of betrayal and murder. The origin of the Eye of Horus may be found in the myth of Set and Osiris. The ancient Egyptians believed that Osiris was the king of Egypt and that his brother Set desired his throne. Through trickery, Set succeeded in murdering his brother, becoming the new king. Osiris's wife Isis, however, managed to bring her husband back to life temporarily through magic and became pregnant with Horus. The cost of vengeance and the gift of restoration. Osiris then went on to become the god of the underworld and Isis raised Horus on her own. When Horus reached adulthood, he sought to avenge the death of his father. Horus fought Set in a series of battles and eventually vanquished his uncle. During these struggles, however, he lost one of his eyes. According to one version of the myth, Set had ripped out Horus's eye, tore it up into six parts and threw it away. In another version, it was Horus himself who gouged his eye out as a sacrifice to bring his father back from the dead. In any case, Horus's lost eye was magically restored by either by Hathor, often regarded uh, to be the consort of Horus, or by Thoth, the god of wisdom. We remember Thoth, the Atlantean. He wrote the Emerald Tablets, and you'll find them in uh, the playlist I have on my videos. Thoth was an Atlantean, and he did say that after the sinking of Atlantis, uh, before and after, there were Atlanteans who had gone to other places of the world, re-established cities there with all their ancient knowledge, they even had space flight. They even had interdimensional uh, zipping back and forth from other dimensions. And uh, because of their haughtiness and their, of their misuse of very high ancient advanced technology, they were done away with. But some Atlanteans did go. One of the places was uh, refugees as refugees to Egypt, the ancient Egypt, and then became their so-called quote-unquote gods of ancient Egypt. So here we have the reference to Thoth. Okay, uh, the magic it was uh, Horus's lost eye was magically restored by either Hathor or Thoth. As Horus's eye was magically restored, the ancient Egyptians believed that it possessed healing properties. Amulets of this symbol have been made using a variety of materials, including gold, lapis lazuli, and carnelian, and have been used as jewelry by both the living and the dead. This is the Eye of Horus, a magical mathematical symbol as well. Interestingly, the Eye of Horus is not merely a magical symbol, but it is also an example of the mathematical knowledge acquired by ancient Egyptians. Of course, this is what was brought to them by the Atlanteans. Now, in a myth mentioned before, Set tore Horus's eye into six parts. As a symbol, the Eye of Horus contains six parts. Each of them was given a fraction as a unit of measurement. The right side of the eye is half, the pupil is a quarter, the eyebrow is an eighth, the left side of the eye is one sixteenth, the curved tail one thirty second, and the teardrop one sixty fourth. These fractions add up to sixty three out of sixty four, and the missing part is said to either represent the magical powers of Thoth or to illustrate that nothing is perfect. The distinctive meanings of the parts of the eye of Horus. Each of the six parts of the Eye of Horus corresponds to a different sense. The right side of the eye is associated with a sense of smell. It's closest to the nose and resembles this organ. Needless to say, the pupil represents a sense of sight, while the eyebrow represents thought, as it can be used to express our thoughts. The left side of the eye represents a sense of hearing, as it, this points towards the ear and has the shape of a musical instrument. The curved tail resembles a sprout from a planked stalk of wheat or, wheat, wheat or grain, 
as a representation of food, this part of the eye of Horus corresponds to the sense of taste. Finally, the teardrop is supposed to represent the sense of touch, as this part of the eye represents a stalk being planted into the ground, an act that involves physical contact and touching. How is the eye of Horus used today? Although the ancient Egyptian civilization came to an end, the belief in the potency of the eye of Horus continued and this symbol is still used by many today. As an example, in Mediterranean countries, fishermen would often paint the symbol on their vessels for protection, and the ancient Greeks to have it on their ships as well. Now, additionally, many people still wear the eye of Horus as jewelry to protect themselves from the ill will of others, like the all-seeing eye type of thing against the evil eye. Moreover, the eye of Horus is popular amongst occultists as well as conspiracy theorists who view the eye not only as a protective symbol, but also as one of power, knowledge, and illusion. In this article, The Eye of Horus, the true meaning of an ancient powerful symbol, was originally created for ancient origins and is published here under Creative Commons. This is on Collective Spark. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.